Welcome, Professor David Spring. Uh, we're here today to talk about natural sciences at Trinity. Welcome. Thank you. So uh, my first question is, what does natural sciences mean to you? Well, natural sciences is a really broad subject. It uh, ranges from physical and biological subjects, and there's about 16 different departments that are involved in teaching natural sciences. For me, I'm a chemist, so chemistry is what I'm most passionate about and teach here at Trinity. I teach organic chemistry, and particularly my research area is in drug discovery, so that's where my passion lies. Great. Um, and you, you mentioned uh, the 16 different departments, so that's quite an overwhelming perhaps amount of choice for some of the students sitting at home. Yeah. How does that, what does that look like in practice? So, you know, when, when you come and join Trinity, do you, do you can't start with all 16, so, so... Yeah, that's good. I'm glad you're not asking me to uh, <laughs> tell me exactly which ones they are. Um, but it's uh, a broad range. So what happens is um, when you start, you, uh, you give an idea of the four subjects you would like to do, to study in your first year, in right. the first uh, year of, of natural sciences. One of them is going to be a mathematical subject one could be. So it could be sort of more maths suitable for people who've done perhaps further maths or others that are just suitable for people who've done standard A-level maths. Um, and if you haven't done um, A-level maths at all, but perhaps done other scientific subjects with maths in, you mm. can do a mathematics for biologists subject as well. Um, so, there, and the other three are really what you like. So you can uh, mix and match and then it specialises in later years. Great. Um, and broadly, what sort of um, things can you specialise in? I mean, does it, is it that you have to choose to go into physics or biology or chemistry? Or? In the first year, it's very broad and it's really just lots of different tasters. You might have an idea where you want to go and often people change their mind. Second year, you, you specialise a little bit. You have three different subjects that you can choose mm. uh, from the four in the first year. Um, one doesn't have to be math, so uh, you still ha have lots of options open there. And then it's really in the third year when you perhaps choose to be maybe a chemist or a, a physicist, etc. And that's where you specialise. Great. So I think that's probably an attractive element of the natural sciences course at Cambridge. Yeah. Um, the holistic element of it, as opposed to having to choose at some other universities or some other courses early on. I think that's right. It's the, it's the real flexibility you get. In some sense, I have to confess, I did my uh, undergraduate degree at um, Oxford. So oh. that was just a chemistry degree. But, you know, comparing what we offer in Cambridge as natural sciences, you know, there is still, uh, it's not hugely different in the path you might take at, at Oxford, even though you'd be mm. doing more chemistry in the first year, but then you do specialise um, within in, in Cambridge uh, just as much as you would in other universities. So um, it gives you the ultimate flexibility because you don't have to have said, yes, this is the subject I want to choose at you know, an early stage. So it gives you much more flexibility. Fantastic. Um, and uh, another question, and well, we're just uh, pinpointing on the, the fact that you mentioned maths and, and further maths as an element of the first year. Um, so what sort of preparation do students need to do? What A-levels must they have to do natural sciences? So uh, it's good to look at the university website and hopefully there'll be a university website address appearing as I speak <laughs> um, that shows the natural sciences uh, uh, requirements for A-level. But just in brief, um, you would need to have an A-level in, in, in maths for most colleges, certainly at Trinity, and ideally we'd like further maths as well. That would be uh, you know, a positive for Trinity. Other colleges, they would just be um, perhaps just happier with, with just um, an A-level in maths. And then you've got two other subjects which um, would, for you know, Trinity, need to be science-based subjects, say physics, maths, or biology. Um, and uh, other colleges maybe you only need one of those. The thing to perhaps watch out for is that really um, psychology as an A-level isn't really counted as a science, so um, psychology perhaps isn't, uh, isn't one that's uh, looked on favourably by Cambridge anyway. Okay. Well, that's very useful to know, I'm sure. Um, and going back to sort of the course and maybe just the first few weeks, what, you, you arrive at Trinity and what does your first week or first couple of weeks look like? So I've asked some undergraduates this because I, as I say, <laughs> wasn't here. What does it actually yeah. feel like to come and what's the advice for them? Well, uh, the range of advice, one was uh, enjoy your summer, <laughs> don't get too worried. <laughs> when you come yeah. here, um, perhaps find out, it's a very big class of uh, natural scientists, there's you know, maybe about 35 people in a year, find the ones who have got a similar interest to you. So if you want to be a biologist, perhaps find a biologist or a physicist because that's going to help in terms of you know, perhaps what background you've got and interests. 
mm. because I think there's often lots of, say, very good physicists that come to Trinity, but they'll find all the physics and maths really, really easy. And if you're a biologist around those people, you'll struggle, you know, you'll think, how can they find this all so easy? Yeah. Um, so I think find out the people uh, that are in that similar subject so that you can team up with them. And I think that will make you feel a bit more relaxed um, that you're, you know, you're not completely out of your depth because you won't be. If, you, if you're coming to Trinity, we would make sure that you, you know, you're well looked after and um, you, know, you won't be out of your depth, but it just might be intimidating. No, I think that's excellent advice. And it also goes back to the A-level maths course where you have to study elements of pure and mechanics and, and, um, and statistics. Yeah. And some people are better at aspects of it than others and vice versa. And yeah. so absolutely focusing your strengths. Absolutely. And um, you know, I, th I think we see that there is a maths fluency test that Trinity will do. Um, so I think that's quite a good guide for you know, people's mathematical abilities. We will look at that, but um, in reality, uh, if you're a biologist or even an organic chemist like me, uh, maths isn't um, a prerequisite for being a good scientist or an academic even. So I think we do appreciate that as well. You know, mm. you need to have a maths to be able to cope with the course at Cambridge, but you don't have to be, you know, maths is your favourite subject. Brilliant. Um, and is that, is that a pre-admissions test? Is that related to STEP? Um, and are there any other... Uh, interview there are so uh, and I think all the details will be given on that website that's hopefully reappearing <laughs> as I speak yeah. um, and uh, there is a pre-admissions uh, test for the whole of Cambridge for natural sciences um, and there you've got a choice of you know, there will be some maths questions it's, I think it's all multiple choice now yeah um, and then you can choose either questions of chemistry biology or, or physics um, so that test is for any college in Cambridge um, and in Trinity ourselves, we'll, there's also another mass fluency test that uh, we'll give everyone just to check that um, everyone's going to cope with uh, the maths when they come here. Absolutely. Um, and is there any preparation they can do um, in Year 12 when thinking about applying? Is there any preparation they can do for these tests? Yeah, so actually there's lots of past papers. Lots of past papers available um, from the website address. Um, and that is something that you know you can look through and just sort of go through on, on, in your own time um, and study. Hopefully your teachers will be able to give you some extra lessons, um, you know, or just like cover them if you do the past papers and go, if there's anything you don't understand, I yeah. think go to your A-level teacher and just try and get some help and advice about you know, what were they looking for. But it, it should be of the level of um, uh, A-level, so it should be within the course curriculum. That's Great, okay. Yeah, so practice, practice, practice on the, on the test. Uh, it is, and, but you know, there, there is lots of information available. So, you know, just uh, you know, before we do the test, just do the past papers, and that's the best revision. Perhaps thinking about where some of the students go after they complete their undergraduate degree uh, at Cambridge, could you give some examples of careers that some of your students have gone on to do? Yeah, absolutely. So um, around half of them carry on with their education, and perhaps do a PhD or an MPhil, you know, a master's degree, um, carry on that. But uh, you know, probably at least half, perhaps most, will actually choose to get a job, and there's things such as teaching, you know, consultancy, um, you know, working in the pharmaceutical industry if you're a chemist um, or you know even working in government and um, uh, different roles like that so actually I think it really opens a lot of doors still doing a natural sciences degree at Cambridge. Great yeah so a huge variety of careers uh, available to you after you complete a degree here uh, and perhaps finally and maybe to just put you on the spot a little bit what do you think is the best thing about studying natural sciences at Cambridge? Well, again, I have to ask my undergraduates <laughs> to answer <laughs> that one because I obviously didn't study here. But the answers they give, the, the, the real difference for Cambridge and, and I think particularly Trinity is you get a really good education. So you get a lot of attention with academics and this one-to-one, sort of one-to-two one um, supervisions. You, you know, you'll, any flair you have for the subject or love you've got the subject, there's people that will share that and... I think that's, you know, you'll be in a, an environment where you can really learn and feel nurtured. I think that's, that, that will be the difference uh, yeah. against many other universities. And I think Trinity is particularly good for natural sciences in its teaching and the number of fellows who are engaged in teaching. So uh, I would definitely recommend people apply. Great. Inspiring stuff. <laughs> um, Professor David Spring, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, John.